With a new range of drive-e powertrains, Volvo Cars is entering a new dimension of engine architecture. A dimension where the number of cylinders is no longer important for describing power or drivability. The amount of power you get from a gasoline engine is not determined by its size, but by the amount of air that you flow through it. Also, by making an engine smaller, you can make it more efficient. Therefore, if you can flow more air through a smaller engine, you can make it both powerful and efficient. Eight engine architectures in three platforms are now replaced with two four-cylinder engines, one common rail diesel and one direct-injected petrol version. These in-house developed and Swedish-built engines are used to create a whole range of derivatives, from high power and torque variants to super-efficient versions. The drive e diesels will span from 120 to 230 horsepower. Petrol versions will start at 140 horsepower and go all the way up to plus 300 horsepower. All diesel and petrol engines are turbocharged. We will develop smaller, more intelligent engines with so much power they will turn V8 engines into dinosaurs. Not only will the new four-cylinder power units produce more power than today's six-cylinder units, they'll be over 50 kilograms lighter and have lower fuel consumption than today's four-cylinder generation. And to deliver the desired drivability, we've mated these engines to an all-new eight-speed automatic transmission or a six-speed manual specifically developed for fuel economy. The most powerful petrol versions feature a class-leading combination of a supercharger and a turbocharger. Using the supercharger to fill in the bottom end gives the engine a big, naturally aspirated feel. The mechanically linked supercharger starts to function immediately at low revs, while the turbo kicks in when the airflow builds up. Other improvements of the Drive-E petrol engines include class-leading low friction, thanks to measures such as ball bearings on the camshaft. There's also high-speed continuous variable valve timing and intelligent heat management with a fully variable electric water pump. The new four-cylinder diesels feature the new ingenious IART technology with pressure feedback from each fuel injector instead of using a traditional single pressure sensor in the common rail. All injectors have an intelligent chip, which monitors injection pressure. Using this real-time data, the control unit makes sure that the ideal amount of fuel is injected during each combustion cycle. The diesels also feature refinements such as state-of-the-art twin turbo, reduced friction, and a smart valve solution on the cooling system for a more rapid heat-up phase after cold start. Increasing the injection pressure to an exceptionally high 2,500 bar, plus adding IART technology, can be described as a second step in the diesel revolution. It can be compared to the invention of the Lambda sensor for the catalytic converter in 1976. Another world first for Volvo. Compared to a six-cylinder engine, the four-cylinder drive-e engines offer massive reduction in weight and size. For the customer, this means a high-performance engine, but with improved fuel economy and with considerably reduced emissions. On top of that, by adding electrification, for example, plug-in hybrid technology, we can produce power figures that take us up into today's V8 territory.
The Drive-E engines are prepared for future electrification from the start. Key components, such as the integrated starter generator, can be connected easily. And the compact size of the four-cylinder engines opens up flexibility to fit electric motors, both front and rear, in the vehicle. There's dedicated space for battery packs of various sizes in the center of the car. When I was working on Formula One engines, we were developing 1.5 litre turbocharged engines, producing over 900 horsepower. And actually, this new driver engine has already been tested on the racetrack. And Volvo was involved in the World Touring Car Championship in 2011. The engine we used was a Dry-V prototype. And by the last race, we actually managed to establish the track record. 